This is non-calculator question number 15 from the May 2019 U.S. exam. College Board is asking about three-dimensional geometry. We have a right rectangular prism. I'm going to call it a box. And I'd do much better if I have a picture. And the dimensions are 4 inches by 5 inches by 6 inches. And the box has 6 sides. They want the surface area. 2 sides here and the opposite side back here are 4 by 5. Two sides, the top and bottom, here, and the bottom, are four by six. This edge is five because, I'm sorry, five by six. This edge is five because this edge is five, and this edge is six. And two sides, the left and right as I've drawn it, are 4 by 6. So this rectangle is 4 by 6, and this rectangle is 4 by 6. And sometimes it helps to look around the room in a manner that won't alarm your proctor, find something that looks like a box, perhaps a file cabinet, perhaps a book, perhaps a box, and look at the sides and say, okay, if this end that I'm looking at is 4 by 5, so is the opposite end, etc. So this would be twice 20 is 40. This would be twice 30 is 60. And this would be twice 24, which is 48. And if I add them, 40 plus 60 is 100, plus 48 is 148, which would be choice D, is the surface area of the right rectangular prism, which I prefer to call a box because that's what I think of it as. College Board will ask you something on three-dimensional geometry, either volume or surface area or something similar. So make sure you can visualize these and practice visualizing the shapes that they ask about in their free response question. In in their multiple choice questions. Come back soon for my next video with Math There's Always More.